But as long as you're thinking it, you'll be experiencing it lifetime after lifetime because nothing changes until you change your mind. So why not get to it? I mean, what are you waiting for? Yeah. You know, I like that you were talking about even about complaining because the source of many of us, the reason why we are where we are is not because of the outward circumstances, but because what you say all the time, our attitude, we're complaining. So the person that's in their parents' house, you know, instead of practicing gratitude of being where they're at at that moment, knowing that they're being taken care of and so forth, they're finding reasons to complain about being in their parents' house. So the only thing that you can discover about complaining about being in your parents' house is more things to complain about, about being in your parents' house. But wait till you get out on your own. One day you're going to look back and appreciate have been in your parents' house. You know, but when you're not there, uh, when you realize how much work and responsibility there comes with not being in your parents' home, there's a whole new mindset. And many times you find many of these young folks going back to their parents' home. Yeah. And being resentful about it too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, that, re that being resentful is a killer. Not of other people, but the one who's being resentful. It really does. Listen, your body listens to everything you say. It may not understand it in the words you're saying it, but it knows how you feel. And that is what it acts upon yeah. because it takes all of its marching orders from you. It's listening to you. Are you listening to you? Because then if you were listening to you, you would know what you're handing off to your body. Yeah. And then you'd know why it's acting the way it is because it has your permission you see, you won't act in, in, unless it has your permission. Attitude, attitude, attitude is the whole story. And you're told, if a man would order his conversations aright, you're talking to yourself, would you order your conversations aright in line with your dreams, your missions, your goals? That's what you'd be experiencing, isn't it? It is. It is. And You've given them, we, you know, the talk is how this stuff works. And you're giving them the key elements in giving them scripture. You said, listen, if a person would order his or her conversations are right, they will be so, shown salvation. Salvation is that thing that you're trying to attract, draw, manifest into your life. What is that thing? And is your conversation fruitful according to what it is that you desire to attract in your life? Look. If you're allowing yourself to be angry, yeah. you feel the angry. You understand? That, that's you setting a mood. And, and in that mood, you can destroy yourself. Unintentionally. Uh, unintentionally, but <laughs> that doesn't make it any less destroyed. Yeah. But you can. And re resentment against what? This is a play. This is this all these dramas that are taken. This is a play. And who's playing the play? God is playing the play. And he's given you the voice to choose this day. And you're doing so how you like it. If you don't like it, change it. That's what you're told to do. Change your mind change your world. It's that simple and you can do it, but it does take your attention focused on doing so to do so. And you're told, do a thing and you shall have the power. It doesn't say a power. It says the power. That, that's all you have to do. The power. That's what you're operating. Morning, noon, and night, you're operating the power. Do you feel like it? You told them that uh, God is playing a role through them. And so you're really telling them that God has given them the lead role in the drama that they're playing. That's right. That's right. And so I ask you this question. Did you choose the part you're playing or were you thrown into it by an attitude? You know, attitudes make you or break you, right? Absolutely. 
I mean, I mean, it's as simple as that. Your attitudes, may, well, what are your attitudes? I mean, how many times have you looked at them? Oh, boy, look at his attitude. Guy, I, I, I and then you do the same thing. <laughs> but you have an excuse. You have a justification. <laughs> See, because you can justify anything if you want to. Yeah. If you really want to, you could, you, you'll find, oh, it may just be a little skinny thread, but it'll hold together enough for you to say, I'm okay. <laughs> For a while, anyway. But actually, look, look, you're on all the time. So that means you're either setting yourself up or setting yourself free all the time, right? Absolutely. You're working hard on setting yourself up or setting yourself free. So you're, that's, where, that's where that comes in. Choose this day. What are you choosing? See, I, I, choose, I choose to feel good. See, I, mine says happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> and not this early, but <laughs> no, but that's right. It, it, it's it's a noon somewhere in it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Like I said, you can justify anything <laughs> if you really want to. And that's what we do. We justify our shortcomings and then we experience them and then we complain about them. And then when you complain about it, you get more to complain about. <laughs> you see, it, you, you're building up this, this heap of load. You know, someone says, well, I'm responsible for this too. And I said, yeah. And he goes, well, I've got enough responsibility. <laughs> well, well, see, the only reason why it's a responsibility because you didn't take care of it in the first place. Isn't that right? That is right. You put it off till later and later it comes and says, oh, well, are, we, are we ready now? No, uh, a little later. And you forget it. And that's what man does. He forgets. Look, I've been listening to some tapes that I made back back in the 80s and, and 70s and 80s. And, and I'm, I'm going, wow, I said that, you know. <laughs> but but, but th that proves what I'm saying. It's coming through me, not from me. Because from me, no, no, that, that, no. That would just be more confusion. <laughs> but what's coming through me? That's what you're getting here today. And that's what Carlo is trying to tell you, too. He's showing you that you can do this because God told you to do this. So what more do you need than God's permission, God's authority to choose better than the best, right? Absolutely. And I understand this. When we're talking about God, we're talking about the voice of man. So what is it that you're saying to yourself? Because, see, that's God speaking to you. So whatever your convictions, your passions, your hopes, your dreams, that's God experiencing life through you as you. Actually, actually, God doesn't know that you're doing anything wrong. Yeah. Because he can't see wrong. Yeah. See, and 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 it actually what the reason why he put subconscious mind in control of building your world as you think you are. He he's he's out of the picture. He he took himself out of the picture. He's following what you're thinking and feeling and suffering with you, but he's not telling you what to do. He already told you in the beginning when he gave you the Bible, he gave you the instructions. You do this, you do this, and this is what happens. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what it is. It's telling you as you think you are. That simple, you keep it that simple, you'll remember it. You confuse it, you lose it. It's, 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 it's actually that simple, isn't it? It is. And I think that most of us are confusing it. We, we want something deeper. When we hear, as you think you are, we say, there's got to be more to it than that. So then we go looking for the next teacher and the next teacher and the next teacher. And then when we find somebody that gives it to us complicated, then we say, okay, then that's the message I'm going to follow. But then they say, well, it's too confusing to follow. And then they come back to, as you think, you are. There it is. I mean, he just told it to you. If you if you deny it, well, see, we're not telling you to believe us. Yeah, we're telling you that this is your message. We're not giving you anything we made up. This is your message, and you're to act upon your message. And if you will act upon your message, you're told by God that he would do this for you. 
no respecter of persons. In other words, you don't have to be good to be answered. Mm -hmm. You're told that you receive not because you ask not. It didn't say if you're a good guy or a good gal. He just says, ask. And that's all you have to do is ask. And then believe what you're asking. And people tell me all the time, well, how can you change what you believe? Well, you've been doing so since you were a child. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, are you still thinking two years old? You know, but thankfully, I don't have to worry about it because it just comes through me. It doesn't come from me. <laughs> all I have to do is show up. But that's all anyone has to do is show up. That's what you're told to do. Choose. Show up. Choose it. If you're not doing so, who, who's at fault for that? See, that, I, I, like I said, Pogo said it. I found the enemy and he is I. That's the one who's distracting you, taking your... As a matter of fact, we, we really initially wanted it to be difficult being religious. Because that way, it, 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 there's that justification again, <laughs> reasoning, you know. We wanted it to be difficult because in that way, we're, we're excusing ourselves. But, but, but you're not excused. You suffer everything you think feelingly about because that is your model. You're sending the subconscious mind, which is hands up, that nothing. They think nothing of it. They just do it. Yeah. It builds your world in accordance to as you think you are, and that's it. So you're on all the time. If you're not putting your time to good use, well, that's that's you, right? Absolutely. You know, there's a scripture that says, listen, if you think right, you alone benefit. So basically what scripture is saying is that God doesn't benefit if you think right or wrong. You're the person that either suffers loss or begin to experience the blessing. But you're the one, as Mr. Linda was just stating, that as you think you are, and mm -hmm. it's not about good or bad. You know, these laws work for everyone. It doesn't, well, this person's bad, this law is not gonna work. It works for the bad as well as it does for the good person. Look, like you said it, as you think you are, that that that's your whole story. Yeah. What are you thinking? Well, not why. Not why you think that way, not how you came to think that way, but as you think you are. And if you don't want to be as you are at the moment, then you change the thinking. It's really that simple. But you have to, you have to be really, really on yourself to see that you're adjusting your thinking to what your dream requires. And it requires you in it thinking from it, not out of it thinking of it, because it's a confession. You don't have it. And it says, OK, you don't have it. <laughs> Subconscious mind don't care. You're not going to question you don't doesn't really care. And I don't care about the latest news either. <laughs> that just came up. <laughs> well, see, it goes back to the distractions. That's always it. attempting to distract you. That's it. And I was so easily distracted. Uh, <laughs> but you can you can overcome it. Look, you you can change it. Look, I I I know I know you can do it. That that I, I'm I'm sure of that one hundred percent because God told you to do it. I can't imagine Him telling you to do something He knew you couldn't do. So, so, therefore, you're on the hook, yeah. and you're going to stay on that hook until you change your mind, because that's what releases you. And if you're not going to release you, there you are. You're stuck with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was stuck with me for a long time. In this, <laughs> yeah. likewise, it was it, it well, like Neville said, he, he, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't feel you're on your own side. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> there, there it was, man. He told me he found the enemy and I was there. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't pull any punches, so yeah. You know, and and, and I I know I'm 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 told I'm like <laughs> but, but come on, I, I'm just trying to give it to you as I received it, and I received it as a message for everybody. 
everybody, everybody, see, no, no one is left out. Now, no one's left behind. That, that, that's, that's stated right there in scripture. No one's left behind. So, thinking feelingly is your ticket. Where are you going? Yeah. Have you cho chosen where you're going yet? I mean, you don't just get on the train and just go somewhere. You want to go somewhere. Go somewhere. Pick it out. Choose it. Look forward to it. Because what you get is what you expect, not necessarily what you want. That's it, isn't it? It is it. You know, you told them, you got to choose a destination. Now, you don't have to choose a destination, but that's what most people are dealing with now. They haven't chosen a destination, and they're wondering why their life is full of chaos. Well, you, you just keep remembering what was said as you think you are. And you're told to think only on things that are lovely and of good report. So if that's what you're doing, that's what you should be experiencing. And and that there again, it comes right back to the fact that you're either setting yourself up or setting yourself free. Your thinking is doing that right now. No, nobody else has taken part in it. I mean, they may try to influence you and they may influence you, but then that's you accepting their influence and then you complain about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> it's easy to complain. It really is. I, I catch myself all the time. What <laughs> you want to plant that? I mean, you, you got it in your hand. You, you want to plant it because when you plant it, then you harvest it. See, and 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 you don't like it, so why plant it? And that's what you're doing. You're planting seeds of of, of disruptive influence when you're thinking without paying attention to what you're thinking about. You, you can get caught up in, in, in judge not, at least you be judge. I mean, that's putting it simple, isn't it? It is putting it simple. You said that there's uh, it's easy to uh, complain. There's another thing it's easy to do. It's easy to blame. So complaining and blaming tends to be the society that we live in right now. And everybody's hypersensitive, we want a reason to complain about something, we want to blame somebody for you know what it is that we're going through. But in all of those things, as we stated earlier, you're giving power away. And as you stated earlier, you have to become more aware of what it is that you're thinking about. So it's easy to blame your parents. It's easy to blame your spouse. It's easy to blame your employer, the government, the president, whomever it is that you're blaming at the moment except the person that needs to take responsibility. I have saw, I saw the enemy and he is I. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's hard to accept. It is. You see, we're all protective of ourselves. Yeah. And, and anything that sounds threatening, we don't want anything to do with it. Yeah. But the thing of it is, you do have to face it. You see, it's it's like Job said, "Woe that which I have feared has come upon me." You understand that which he has feared, and and God did not give man the spirit of fear. He did not give man the spirit of sickness. So Job's telling you that I I, I actually dreamed these up myself, yeah, or, or accepted somebody else's idea of it, yeah, and so and now I'm suffering it. What do I do? Let it go. And while you're suffering it, you still let it go. In other words, you're forcing yourself to think outside of what you're experiencing. And you can do this. But it, it does take patience to, 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 to sit in the silence to do this. Yeah. But believe me, if it, if it took you 40 years, like, damn, it took me yeah. right there. You see, it's worth it. It's worth every minute that you invest in yourself. And when you're sitting in the silence, thinking feelingly about what we're talking about, you're setting yourself free. That's it. You're setting yourself free. You're thinking of freedom. What we're talking about is your freedom. Isn't that what it is? It is freedom. 
You know, I want to add to what you said. You said something that was wonderful, and I'm afraid that it's going to be missed. You said, listen, you're either suffering your own ideals or you're suffering somebody else's ideals. And this is most of us. I mean, whether it be with religion, politics, whatever, many of us haven't thought these things out for ourselves because what we would come to the conclusion of is most of it's nonsense. But we've so indoctrinated ourselves with other people's ideals and we're in an up world when somebody contradicts an ideal that we don't even know how we started believing the ideal in the first place. Yeah. And you're always thinking ahead of your evidence. Yeah. What? Yeah. What, what, what are you actually thinking ahead of your evidence? And the evidence is you're experiencing. Absolutely. So what you're thinking now is being produced in your future. It's not falling into the past. Yeah. Now, you see, I, I, th I thought that for years that I said, oh, yeah, I said that, but that, 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 that's yesterday. That, that's, a, that's a week ago. I, I even forgot about it. But that's the point. You do forget about it. But yet when you're experiencing it, you're complaining as though it was somebody else that caused it. Yeah. When you just, you just admitted you set it up, you're always setting yourself up for, for what? Yeah. Happiness. You can set yourself up to be happy. Or you can set yourself up to be miserable. And you know what you're experiencing. So you know then what you've been thinking. If the thinking makes how you're feeling. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. It's that simple. If you think lovely and of good report, that's what you experience. You think ugly, you experience ugly. It's as simple as that. Wouldn't you say? I would say. And if you uh, think victim then you find yourself being a victim if yes. you think that you're a victor then you find yourself being a victor that's it that's it if you're a victim you chose it yeah i, I mean you can deny it and that, and that i mean look at the whole world there that's what they're denying it that that's what they're suffering because they keep denying it yeah. and and, and it's, it's right there in front of them to deny it but they won't because they don't understand they're doing it they're, they've got excuses and justifications for everything they're thinking and feeling. But do they hold water? Yeah. Can, can you get a drink from it? Yeah. Attitude, attitude. What is your attitude about life in general? I mean, have you ever, ever thought about that? Have you, have, have you ever thought about that? See, that's what you ask them. Yeah. I, I, mean, I mean, your attitude about life in general is exactly what you're experiencing. And if it's not lovely and a good report, well, that's what it is. Then. But you made it so. You asked for it so. And if you don't know you're asking, wake up. Because you are asking. But asking amiss is also in your asking. And, and I ask amiss myself a lot of times. But I have to catch it right away and, and say, oh, 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 no, no. We don't want that. But if you let it go, if you don't stop it, well, it, it's onward and you'll be onward with it. Look, this, this is an ongoing drama. There's no place to stop. There really isn't. There's no place to stop. You're ongoing with every word, every thought. You're ongoing. But going where? That, that, that's what you want to track. Where are you going? Okay. Because you're taking, you, what's leading you? What, what is leading? What, what causes you to, to do this and do that and do that? Because you're thinking ahead of your evidence that you're going to do it. Are you? Mm -hmm. See that? Ask yourself these questions. If you if you answer yourself honestly, you're on the road. But if you keep the lie going, well, then you're going to suffer the consequences because there's always trade-offs. And, and that, that, that's, what, that's what you do. You teach a little child. Pay attention to what you're doing because you'll hurt yourself if you don't. Well, it's the same for adults. You know, pay attention. Now, law enforcement comes out and says, you know, pay attention. Look, look like you look like you know what you're doing, that you're aware. Yeah. Because if you're not, then you just became a victim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
and we are a victim of our own thinking and feeling. Just remember that. So if you're being set up, if you're denying yourself, all denial is self-denial. God's not denying you anything. He's, say, he's saying, hey, be happy. Be joyful. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm guilty of it too. Yeah, we all are. We all are. But it, it, it's now operating more in my favor. <laughs> I, I actually, I actually am looking out for myself now. <laughs> you know, I'm carefully listening to what I'm saying to myself because you're, 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 you're suggesting stuff to yourself, but and you may not even intend to even intend to, to 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 take part in it but the fact that you thought it you're in it you're told to be in the world but not of the world because if you're thinking as the world naturally thinks then you're in trouble because they're fearful of all sorts of things and they'll convince you to be fearful of them i mean what, what is what is ask your doctor ask your doctor ask you i mean doctors must want to think oh <laughs> because because if you're asking it what you're doing you're telling them what what what, what you need yeah. and and why are you at the doctor if you know what you need absolutely as you think you are i mean you can send yourself anywhere you want i know i do often <laughs> and i i enjoy the doing too <laughs> and the only thing about it that i don't like is you can't share it yeah i mean you can tell them about it see that's what we're doing we're just telling you about it yeah it it, it takes you to suck it up and use it you know we we have we have no choice over that that it, we give it to you and you use it or don't use it it's up always up to you and I don't like to put it that way, but that is actually the way it is, isn't it? That's absolutely the way it is. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're here to help you, but the help that you really need is nearer than hands and feet, and that's what we keep pointing to. Yeah. We're pointing to your hands and feet. That's that's how close the help you need is. But you're looking out there, and out there is secondhand land. It was only new as idea. And your changes are only going to be new as new ideas. You want a new adventure? Then think up a new adventure. But make it an adventure that you enjoy, not one that you don't. But that's what people do. They get sucked into thinking nonsense. And then they experience it and they're unhappy. And it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. They themselves are makers of themselves. So if you're blaming someone else or something else, you're out, you're, you're, you're out of your mind. Mm. Get back in it. Absolutely. Get back into the game. So in closing, what would we say exactly in closing? Uh, what would we say to the listeners about how this stuff works? Well, it works if you work it. Yeah. Uh, we've told you what the work is. Yeah. Work it. Yeah. Do it. Do a thing and you shall have the power. Now, what else do you need other than the power? Absolutely. I mean, I mean, God's telling you, choose this day. And and, and that's what you are doing. You are doing the choosing this day. And look at the day and say, I chose that. Yeah, that's the way it works. As you think you are. That's it, isn't it? That's it. That's it. <laughs> well, sir, on that note, it's been a pleasure. Yes, it has. It always is. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. <laughs> People just want to know what you did to be successful. The four CDs that I have out there, it's all there. If you took any one of the CDs and actually followed through on what you understood there, you could change your mind, change your world. All you have to do is just listen to the CDs. It's always 
reiteration and reiteration. I want to go back to the uh, board CD set. Go to metaphysicalartheater.com. We can only mail in the U.S. right now, but for those who are outside the U.S., we can send you a digital bundle with everything so you'll get the enjoyment without waiting for it in the mail. Matter of fact, those who are in the U.S., if you would rather have the digital copies, we can do that as well. Metaphysicalartheater.com. 